Hi guys, it's Sam, and yes, I am in the cruise bathroom, and I thought, you know what, before I take my makeup off, I want to look a little bit presentable, and have, there's really good lighting in here, so I'm going to do what's in my makeup bag, and I originally took with me a layered travel case, but I was finding that it was really difficult to, um, I was getting something like let's say from the top and then having to close it and then getting something from the bottom and having to close that and then reopen the middle and it was just kind of complicated so I just put everything into a packing cube that I wasn't using and this is not ideal either I think I might invest in one of those makeup pouches that you pull open uh, and it lays everything flat and then you close it up again with the drawstring so let me get started. I'll do it by the way that I do my makeup. And I'm, as usual, not prepared. I'm gonna put a washcloth and put this. I'm gonna put a washcloth in the sink because I just washed my hands and I will, oh, I just washed my beauty blender and I will just lay my packing cube in there. So let me turn you around a little bit. Okay, if it's shaking, the boat is really rocking. And it's been rocking this entire trip and I had to take Dramamine a couple of times or Bonine. Okay, so the first thing that I put on my face is this Innisfree Min Minimum for Sensitive Skin Cream. And I use this um, as my moisturizer and this is great for traveling actually. They sell a whole bunch of these in stores in the store there's like a wall with it and then next I put on a primer and I brought my Nivea men sensitive post bomb shave I love post shave bomb I love the way that this smells but it also keeps my makeup in place really well so I brought this they don't make a smaller one but I don't mind what there's when I didn't travel on a plane to get here I traveled out of New York which is where I live and or I left out of New York, the cruise the cruise ship. There's a, a pier in New York City and I, there was no size restriction on toiletries or anything. And then uh, because my eyes are super oily and this needs to set, this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. But what I've been finding with this is that since I'm so tanned, that it looks like I'm putting like a lighter powder on my eyes, which is not ideal, but I could kind of counteract that and it's not that big. It's not that big of a deal, but I love this. It works really well on my oily lids. Then I put on foundation and I brought a few. Oh, actually I brought two. One is the Fenty Beauty and I am in the color 220. It's a little light. All these foundations are a little light for me. I got really tanned. And then this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear and I wear this uh, I wore this during Cruise Elegant Night. We already had one and now we're gonna have one, I believe tomorrow. Next is concealer. And I brought two concealers, they're both waterproof. And you know what I'm thinking of a traveling makeup case? I want something that's kind of like hard and there's the dividers in there. So if any of you know something like that, let me know, that's not too big. So I brought the Urban Decay uh, waterproof concealer and this is the all-nighter and sometimes on day on nights or days I guess yeah days and nights I will put this on just this on and a little bit of powder on top just because I don't want to go through the whole foundation routine brought this in medium and then this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer this one is in medium is this one in medium as well okay mid light neutral see that lost the focus that's what it says <laughs> and then I move on to powder and because I'm taking pictures at night I brought this NYX stay matte but not flat powder foundation and this is also too light for me so when I put it on it looks like I have a white cast already so I've been putting very light and then for during the day when I don't even want to wear any type of uh, liquid foundation, I have the IT Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination. And this one is in medium as well. And I have to say, I probably could go a little bit darker for the summertime, but I love that foundation. So full coverage. I have a lot of breakouts on my chin and that covers it up. And this is the color natural. So it's a little bit too light for me. And then for 
I next would be bronzer and I brought my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour light to medium and this is what that looks like and this is work this has worked really well it has a yellow corrector it has a highlighter which I don't love uh, I'm not using that but I use all of these as eyeshadows and contouring so I really really like this kit and it's smaller than the Kat Von D one which is what I usually bring Oh, and so for applying all this stuff, I meant to show you the brushes. Um, I've been, I watched a Wayne Goss uh, makeup video where for longer foundation, and he said to mix your foundation with setting spray, and I feel like that does work. So I've been using that, and also this is to set my makeup, put foundation and concealer on. And I kind of wish I brought um, a smaller foundation brush so I could so I don't have to use my fingers all the time. I don't know, I don't like losing my fingers. I like using a brush to apply concealer sometimes. This is to put my powder. And I also use the puffs that come into the, you know, the flat. <laughs> I'll just show you, because apparently I'm forgetting my words. So something like this I use to apply and it gives uh, more coverage. And then for blush and contouring, I've been using this and also this um, just because I'm tan so I want to kind of correct uh, the powders and foundations that are a little bit too light for me but I use this as blush and contouring and then this as a highlighter and this is the echo tools which one is this I really like this one but for the life of me I can't remember where I got this from uh, and then this is elf And then this is the blush, the e.l.f. blush palette. And this has come in handy as well. It gives you four, I feel like four different colors. Uh, I really like this one though. I've been using that one a lot. And then for highlighter, I brought my Becca and this one is in Opal. I love this. I think this is a beautiful highlight. It, you could kind of still see it on me. All of this makeup, um, I've worn so far uh and this one is i mean i've worn today <laughs> and this is what it looks like and this is could be used in the inner corners as well and i put it on top of my cupid's bow really nice uh next i would apply some type of eyeshadow i brought two with me but i probably could just stick with this one this is a tart man eater and i just love this i've been really happy that I brought this one and this is probably going to be my traveling one that I bring with me all the time. I brought it a few times when I've traveled. Uh, I've been mostly using these two colors and then a little bit of this one because I wore a pink shirt today so I did uh, use a little bit but I don't go too dramatic with my eyes and I've used this and that one. And then the other palette that I really haven't digged into but I thought if I wanted to go really sparkly I brought this. And this is the Smashbox uh, Cover Shot Major Metals Eye Palette. And to apply my eyeshadows, I brought these three brushes. These two are kind of similar. I've been just using this one really and saving this for if I wanted to put like a highlight up there or something like that. And this is for the inner corners. And then I move on to eyebrows. I brought, I brought two eyebrow products. Uh, this I used a couple times. This is the NYX mis a Tinted Brow Mascara and it's, it's whew, Espresso. And then this is the It Cosmetics Brow Power and Universal Taupe. And I brought this one especially because, well, most of them come with the spoolie, but this is a really nice spoolie. Then I move on to eyeliner. This is something new that my sister got me. It is the Ooze or UZ eye opening liner. And it looks like this. And they had a grand opening in New York City. And just, it's black. It says one CC. But this tip is probably the thinnest tip that I have. And it's just, or I have used, and it's amazing. It works really well. So I use that every night. And then today, for fun, I did use this Urban Decay Heavy Metal, and this has a thin tip as well. And I think it just adds so much fun to my eye look. I 
I've been wanting to pull this out this week, but I felt like it didn't match. But I wore a light pink shirt today and really like this. I would think about getting it in other colors. Just a lot of fun. And then, oh, I forgot to show you for my to for my lashes because they tend to clump together. Got this thing. And eyeliner that I haven't really worn. This is Milky Dress. I think it came in a Mishi box, which I was supposed to get a Mishi box for a whole nother for the rest of the year, but they up they moved to New York or something and they canceled all subscriptions and I was just so disappointed. I, was, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. But this is Milky Dress. And I have it a little bit under here and it hasn't really I only put a very little bit and then I applied extra powder underneath because it does transfer a lot of things transfer on me uh, for mascara I brought two I brought this better than sex waterproof mascara by Too Faced and I really like this but this makes my eyelashes clump together so I did I sometimes use that brown thingy here <laughs> Uh, but also I use this as well. This is great. I wish they would come with a waterproof formula of this thing. This is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Active and this works so well in separating lashes and giving just making you look like you have a lot more. Let me see if I can show you. I don't know. It just does a really good job. My eyelashes have been falling out so especially on this eye. And then for eyelash curler this is my go-to guys I have the tweezerman ones which I really like as well but nothing beats this if you have Asian eyes or you know uh, just eyes like mine these work so well to make your lashes curl and then the last few things are lip products and I am not a lipstick lipstick person I feel like this year I've really come to, come to realize that and just I should just get rid of my whole makeup drawer. Um, but I brought a few favorites and some that I just knew I wanted to wear one night. So I brought this one, uh, the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick and they brought, brought it so light on there. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it, but there is something on there. It says Wine Tour. Then I brought this one. This one is my favorite lipstick uh, from this Wet n Wild. Uh, liquid Mega Last Liquid Catsuit line, and it is Rebel Rose. I don't know why it's not focusing most of the time. Oh, there it goes. Uh, and then, so I brought like a berry color, a nude color, two reds. I haven't worn this one yet. Max Ruby Rose, a uh, Ruby <laughs> Ruby Woo. I won't show you. I'll just tell you the names. And I like this red on me is kind of it's not orange but it's not that like blue tone red and then a darker red which I haven't worn yet and this one is Givenchy and then let's see oh you know what I have the other one I brought um what's that brand bite lipstick the one that they give for free all the time is it Glacier I don't know I love that one there's a little bit of it left. Not really. I put lip gloss on. I forgot. And then the last one is the Maybelline, right? Eh, the ones that were so popular. Remember, yeah, Maybelline Divine Wine. This was a color that I could never find, and I finally found it. But I haven't worn this one yet either. I didn't bring any hot pinks, but I don't feel like they don't look that great on me. And that is the last of my makeup. I feel like I did a pretty good job of bringing what I what I ended up using. There's a few things in there that I haven't used. Like I probably wouldn't bring the palette and not as many lipsticks. But overall, I'm really happy with what I brought and I've been enjoying my cruise. I've been taking a lot of footage, not a lot of the ship, um, but I've been having a good time and we're now we're we did our last port day today and we have two days at sea and then in the morning we get off. So it's near the end, but I've been having fun and I hope you guys enjoy this video. I do plan on doing hopefully a toiletries video and maybe my clothes, but I'll do that. I 
think it makes maybe while I'm packing. I don't know. We'll see. But I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.